two fuselage painted neutral gray number 33 I am hand painting a flat brownish yellow to resemble zinc chromate yellow in all of the wheel wells this same color is also being applied to the interior of the wheel covers Check the fit of the cockpit into the fuselage. It should slip in one way, and it is a snug fit. Cement the cockpit in using CA, and be liberal with the application. I suggest slipping in the backrest first. It makes it much easier to put it in. Now you're ready to cement the underframe with the wings into the bottom of the fuselage. Note the tight fit of the pins used to position this part. I did not put in the struts and braces as I want to paint the bodies first with the appropriate colors. Note one was already painted neutral gray number 33. CP 1245 with zinc chromate hand painted in the wheel wells. Masking paper TCP 900 was applied to the underside of the wings to protect the wheel wells in preparation of spraying neutral gray 33 on the balance of the underside of the two fuselages needed. Let these stand one to one and a half hours. Now, the entire underside of the fuselage is masked with TCP 900 masking paper in preparation of spraying the color required for the upper surface. Note, I am only building the captured American P-39 in 1944, so only one will be sprayed on top in U.S. Army Air Force olive drab. Cut the masking paper to cover the complete underside, being careful to cover the opening of the front strut brace as well as each stabilizer.
TCP 1236 ANA 613 United States Army Air Force Olive Drab is being sprayed at 28 to 30 PSI using a medium tip on an airbrush. It is a Vega 2000 airbrush fitted with a one ounce bottle. Since the Luftwaffe added Gelb 04 to the fuselage as a band on the wingtips plus the spinner and nose, I need to prepare the wingtips and the fuselage for the Gelb 04 by placing masking paper on those parts. Note that on the wingtips, both the top and the bottom of the wings will be painted Gelb 04. By the way, Gelb is yellow in German. In order to do the wing bottoms, I have to remove some of the masking already present so I can position a new mask to get the size of the yellow tip correct. Notice I did not remove any paint when I took off that masking. I did the bottom of the wing tip first and then did the top side. More masking is done in the next section for the fuselage band. Masking paper is cut with a straight edge to get as straight a section as possible in order to create a perfect band on the fuselage. Since the fuselage is a compound curve, you will have to carefully position the masking paper to get a straight line. The yellow band wraps around the entire fuselage, so you will need multiple pieces to get the band correct. I estimated the band width needed based on the print scale decals that I will be using later. Use a burnisher to press the masking paper smooth and now we are ready to paint. TCP 1312 Gelb 04 is now being sprayed on the upper and lower wing tips and the fuselage band using a Vega 2000 airbrush fitted with a 0.3 millimeter or medium tip. Turn the aircraft around to ensure complete coverage. Since the Luftwaffe added Gelb 04 to the fuselage as a band, the wingtips, and the spinner and nose, I am spraying TCP 1312 Gelb 04 onto the spinner and nose in this video. I cemented all three propellers, spinners, noses, shafts, and the caps together for all of the P-39 versions that will be completed. Since I am working on the captured American P-39, I am showing only one of the assemblies in this video. The captured P-39 has yellow paint. Be careful with gluing the parts because you still want the propeller to spin in the bearing. You can now remove all of the masking from the aircraft. Use any tool you wish to start a corner or edge in order to grab and pull the masking paper off. I accidentally pulled off the right stabilizer, but that will be reattached with CA without any issues later. Our masking paper is very low tech 
and will not remove any underlying paint, no matter how many layers are required. I also took out the paper I stuffed in the cockpit to prevent that being painted olive drab. If you have any questions about techniques explored in this video or general questions about this build, please post your questions in the comments section below.